What if a user from your organization had their credentials leaked in a data breach? What would that mean for you? In this video, we're going to be talking about miscred or leaked credentials, what it is, where you can find it in AWS and what you can do to prevent it. When an employee or a user is trying to access an application or even your AWS console, they usually provided credentials to do so. Now, if they happen to share these credentials with someone external when asking for help, unknowingly maybe copying and pasting it in some forum, or they're part of a data breach where these credentials are leaked, it can give rise to leaked credentials or as we call it, miscred. Now, a threat actor or an attacker can go down various parts to find these leaked credentials. They can utilize phishing, malware attacks, brute force attacks, snooping for these credentials, or simply finding leaked email, username, or passwords just on the dark web. Now, once they have access to these credentials, they can use these to access elevated privileges. So whatever those credentials had access for and also execute on some malicious acts. Now, depending on whichever report you do read, leaked credentials is one of the main reasons for data breaches, yet a lot of organizations actually don't monitor leaked credentials on the dark web for their employees. But I haven't chosen one. Okay, sorry. Now, one of the recent examples where miscred or leaked credentials appeared was the Uber breach from September 2022. The threat actor actually gained access to an ex-contractor's corporate password. Then they used a malware attack to gain access to the ex-contractor's device, expose credentials, and bypass MFA. The attacker was then able to gain access to other employees' account, elevate permission, and also send out a company-wide Slack message. You may have also heard of Shiba Inu, which is a popular cryptocurrency, they had their AWS infrastructure keys exposed on a GitHub repository by one of the developers accidentally. Now, these credentials were valid online for two days, and if they were exploited, they could have led to fund theft, token embezzlement, and disruption of a lot of services. Now, one of the places where you can find credentials in AWS that can be cleaked is the AWS storage. Now, AWS provides its users with a lot of options for storing files and other services in the cloud, but these also do become a place where, from where credentials can be leaked. So you're talking about things like the AWS S3 bucket, AWS EBS snapshot, AWS EFS and AWS RDS. Now the credentials stored in these places are often stored in plain text just for ease of access for the users. Now, if these storages do become internet facing and are open to the internet, bad actors can easily access them and get access to those credentials. Now, another way credentials can get leaked in AWS is through the AWS IAM user. Now, the AWS IAM user is an identity that's given to a person or an application in AWS, and these credentials can be leaked in several ways. By committing AWS access keys to Git repositories that are shared between developers, trusted third-party breaches that expose passwords that have been provided by the company to the attack Hacker, social engineering of AWS users by spear phishing of the target and then stealing those credentials. And some IAM users may choose to reuse their passwords for several services in your cloud infrastructure. And then of course you do have your rogue employees or disgruntled IAM users as well. Harry Potter is dead. Now another place from where credentials can be leaked in AWS is the AWS CloudFormation template. AWS CloudFormation is a service that allows you to create a template for your services and applications in your AWS architecture. Now you can use these templates to replicate the service and application for ease of use and scalability, but with any template out there, as much as it adds ease of use, what it also does is it does add some risk to it. If you do end up copying credentials or information that is not privy to the new application that you're building, it can definitely lead to some leaked credentials. Now, there are several places as we discuss where your credentials can be leaked from AWS, your AWS storage, your AWS IAM user, and also your different templates like the CloudFormation template. But what is it that you can do to prevent leaked credentials from happening. So you can use something like AWS Security Token Service 
to create and maintain trusted users with temporary credential to access your AWS resources. You can also use AWS Identity Center, which used to be previously known as Single Sign-On, to create federated users. So this is a single set of credentials for a user to access various different services. You can also complement this with your industry standards and authentication to ensure that you're preventing any of these risks. Another way to stop miscred is using multi-factor authentication. This is probably one that you hear about quite often and it's also something we use in our day-to-day -day life multi-factor authentication does add another layer of protection so if your username and your password is compromised that is another layer of protection that you do have in your authentication side of things another thing you can do to prevent leak credentials from happening is using infrastructure as code with cloud native services. You can also use cloud native services like AWS Secret Manager, which will allow you to manage, retrieve, and rotate your credentials, adding another layer of security. This prevents you from also storing these credentials in your cloud formation template or your infrastructure as code template. Tools like AWS Secret Manager or any other secret management tool will make sure that you're not storing your credentials in plain text in your config. Now you know all about miscred, where your credentials may be leaked from in AWS and what you can do to prevent this from happening. Now that you know all about miscred, go and learn about all the other villains you need to be mindful of.